Hi, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on HP Envy Desktop. The model of this is TE01-1144. Let me show you the front of the desktop. Here is the power button, headphone, USB ports, SD card reader, USB-C. This HP computer runs on an Intel i5 this is the 10th generation and i believe it has 12 gigs of ram as well as 512 nvme ssd drive all right this is brand new right off the box let me go ahead and take it apart and show you what are the things that you can upgrade and explain to you of what are the things that you can replace or upgrade all right, so go ahead and remove one of the screws here in the back. This is the back of the computer, by the way. On the top here, it has the audio jacks, HDMI for your monitor, VGA. These are the USB ports, Ethernet cable. It doesn't have graphics cards on it. And the last, at the very bottom, is your power supply. All right. So um, if you're planning to use this computer on dual monitor, you can do that. One goes to the first monitor HDMI and then the VGA goes to your second monitor on a VGA. You can do two monitors in this computer. All right, so this screw right here, it doesn't come out. You can only just unscrew and make it loose once you have that in the right. Uh, lay, lay it down and then go, go ahead and slide it to your left and that's how you remove the side panel if you take a look at the uh, the computer here this is your exhaust fan this is your cpu the heatsink is right underneath so the fan is blowing the cold air into the heatsink to cool off the cpu and the exhaust here in the back is to exhaust out any hot air all right so let's go ahead and remove this screw just one screw is removed and then you can just remove the uh, the black panel right here just by lifting it up We're going to remove the bracket on the hard drive. What I like to do is to remove the front cover. That's how you remove the front cover. By opening up the, uh, the three little clipper. Just lift it up and then slide it to your right. Here's the bracket for the for that screw, go ahead and remove that screw. And you can just lift the uh, bracket up and that's how you remove the hard drive uh, bay or the tray. Let's take a quick look here. What you can see is the green board is what we call the motherboard. These two RAM slots is already utilized. It's installed with eight and four gigs of RAM. So it's a 12 gigs uh, DDR4 RAM. If you want to upgrade the RAM or replace the RAM, what you want to do is you want to push the both sides on the clipper. And then the RAM will just slide straight up. Okay, so this is a eight gigs PC4 stands for DDR4. To install the RAM is very straightforward. Make sure you have that little um, RAM aligned in the right position here. And then press it down. And you can hear that the clipper will just lash back onto the RAM. Now this is your M.2 drive, the SSD drive. It's a Phillips screwdriver, so I need to change that to a fillet 
it's on your one screw so go ahead and remove that one screw and you can slide the uh, m.2 nvn nvn nvme ssd drive all right so let's put it on the side this one here has all your information like your windows your programs your data your pictures whatnot everything in this in this hard drive here and this is your cpu and if you want to upgrade the cpu i think you can go up to the 10th generation um, but other than that you can stay within the um, the 11 generation this is the 10 I, other than that you can upgrade from i5 to i7 or downgrade from i5 to i3 doesn't matter the motherboard will support it to remove the heat sink is very straightforward all you have to do is just unscrew the four screws and the heat sink will just pop straight up now if you're planning to install a graphics card uh, just so you know that the power supply as you can see it doesn't have enough of the power for the um, graphics card so if you're gonna buy uh, a graphics card that is the low profile something like this this graphics card does not require any power from the power supply so the graphics card will draw the power from the motherboard and powers up the graphics card if you're planning to install this okay so what you want to do is open up the latch and remove the uh this 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 metal bracket right here okay so once you remove it so that the graphics card can stick it out on the other side and then you can just push push straight in to install if you see the PCIe slot here you just got to make sure it aligns and then push it in into this black slot now if you're going to buy a graphics card that that requires um, the power like the six pin connector or eight pin connector to power up the graphics card this computer here would not work because it doesn't have enough power coming from the power supply to power up the graphics card as you can see the power supply is very straightforward and simple it has four pin connector here and another four pin connector on the other side so this is a very low power power supply all right that's pretty much it and then the tear down if you want to do the motherboard replacement you can just unscrew all this and the motherboard will just come straight up um, there's no intake fan coming from the front if you're planning to add additional fan for 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 intake of the cold air uh, this does not support because there's no additional three prong connector for you to plug in to power up the uh, the fan so this is a very basic computer low grade starting point doesn't have any feature for upgrade um, besides that it would only have hard drive you can add additional hard drive that's pretty much it other than that i don't think uh, there's much much you can do about this computer okay so what i like to do is to put the uh, hard drive back let me let me know comment below if you have this computer um i like to find out what do you use it for do you use it for gaming or do you use it for um just regular work like excels you know checking email and whatnot so just let me know how do you use this computer for uh what are you planning to upgrade if you're planning to buy additional hard drive to upgrade the uh um the computer uh, i'll make a separate video for you on that one um i'll plan to upgrade the uh add additional hard drive here in in the computer so let me make a separate video for that and i'll show you step by step on how to do it um besides that what else do i have here um uh, pretty much it the teardown is very simple there's not much to show you uh, if you have any question just comment below i'm more than happy to answer the questions um but other than that um, do not forget to like if you find this video is helpful and subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell i really appreciate you for doing that um, other than that not much until next time take care now bye